Hello there. I'm a killer, and I have no problem admitting that. Many people have fallen victim to my gruesome acts, and I live through life regretting none of it. I'm only sharing my story on here so that someone out there can know about it. Whether or not you choose to believe it is up to you. I was a normal child, but normal is relative, so who am I to make that call? What I should say is that I grew up how you would expect a kid to grow up. My parents treated me properly, I did great in school, and I had many friends. It wasn't until high school that I started feeling the need to kill. It was all so spontaneous. I was just sitting in class one day, staring at one of the students, when the image of him dying popped into my head. I zoned out and focused on the image. His body was lying in a pool of blood leaking from his head. His arms were snapped behind his back and his feet were missing the big toes. A few weeks later, that daydream became a reality. And the best part was, I got away with it. Everyone in the school was whispering rumors to one another as I walked to class. Some were saying that he joined the army. Others were convinced that he just moved like so many other kids did before him. I was the only one who knew the truth and I had to hide my devilish grin from the rest of the school. That was my only murder in high school, but it ignited the flame. When I reached adulthood, I landed a successful job and had plenty of money to obtain the tools I had always dreamed of using on my victims. That's when I developed a signature style. I would always sever the big toes, but I no longer snapped the arms behind the back. Honestly, the sound of bones breaking didn't sit with me well. Every day I would watch the news expecting to see that one of my victims had been found. But they never were. Years went by, and I targeted another 12 victims. They were no one in particular. Women. Teenagers. It really didn't matter to me. A dead body is a dead body in my eyes. I don't care who it belongs to. Very few of them would put up a fight. And that was fine with me. I wasn't trying to drag out the last moments of their miserable lives. I just wanted them to die. I wanted to savor the warmth of their blood on my hands as I slit their throat. About a week after I killed my final victim, I met a girl that I ended up falling in love with. She doesn't realize how close she was to becoming just another undiscovered body. She wasn't able to have kids, which was fine with me. I never really saw myself as a father. Neither of us believed in God, so we saw no point in getting married. I was okay with this as well. I felt like my life was finally going to be normal again. After we had been together for a few years, I decided to tell her about my past. I made a special dinner for her to lighten the mood. However, when I told her, she just laughed and thought I was being ridiculous. It turned into her treating it like some type of role-playing fantasy, and she ignored me as I told her it was the truth. I didn't know how to prove it to her. So, I killed someone. I killed someone right in front of her. One night, 
I brought her with me on what she thought was a date. When we got to the spot, I opened the trunk of the car so she could see my victim. She still thought it was a joke and asked me how I got my friend to agree to this. But I think she finally understood that this was no prank as I sliced the man's throat. Her face turned pale and she reached into her purse to get her phone. I was prepared for this though and I knocked her unconscious. After I finished my signature killing pattern, I drove back to the house. My secret was not safe with her, but I loved her too much to kill her. Right now, she's being kept in my basement. I don't treat her like a prisoner, mind you. She has everything she could ever want. I'm hoping in time, I can start leaving her untied at night so she'll quit trying to escape. I know one day she'll accept who I am. Maybe one day, she'll help me fulfill my new fantasy of killing together. Or perhaps, you guys won't believe me either, and you'll brush this off as just another made-up story on the internet. But that's just the funny thing about being a killer.